Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. Well, today is the last day of the year. 2021 is over. And tomorrow, we start a brand new year. I've been talking this week about gifts and hoping you got what you wanted for Christmas. And I have a passage this morning that I'd like to end the year with. It talks about a gift. It's a gift that, that God gives. We find these words in John chapter 14 and verse 27. Jesus says, I am leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift that the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I am going away, but I will come back to you again. Well, I don't know if you got the gifts you wanted for Christmas or not. I was with my wife before Christmas and we happened to be in a store and I said, oh, you can buy me a tie. Now, as an aside here, she's never bought me a tie. A tie. In fact, in my life, as much as I can remember, I have never gotten that dreaded Christmas tie as a present. I, I don't remember anybody ever giving me one. So I wasn't surprised at her reaction, but she said, no. I said, why not? She says, because I wouldn't even know what color or style you want. And I said, well, I don't know either. <laughs> and she said, well, if you ever wore any, then I might know. <laughs> I take that as a not a badge of honor, but you know, I don't wear ties. I have a few. I wear them very, very occasionally, but nobody ever gave me one as a gift. And over the years, I'm much less interested in getting a gift as I am in giving something. I don't know about you, but I just don't really have things that I want that I don't already have. Now, I'm told that's the difference between men and women. Men are so hard to buy for because during the year, if there's something they want, they go and buy it. And women wait. I don't know if it's true about women or not, but that kind of describes me. If there's something that I need or want, I go and buy it. And there really isn't much left to give at Christmas time, though my wife gave me a couple of really neat little surprise things. You see, this is the season, or now the end of it, of gift giving. And it shouldn't be the end. I know this is the end of the year, but it's not the end. Something else comes along. January 1 is coming up tomorrow. And 2022 will be here. You see, gift giving is something that we ought to be doing year round. This passage talks about a gift. It's a gift from God. And, and it reads this way. Jesus said, I'm leaving you with a gift the gift of peace of heart and peace of mind. Do you have that gift in your life? Well, he goes on to say, this is a gift that the world can't give. There's nothing that can give you peace of mind outside of yourself, external to your being. Oh, there's some things that might make your life more comfortable but it can't give you peace of mind. It can't give you peace of heart. That has to come from within. 
and God is the one who gives it. Jesus knows his disciples are anxious. They've been anxious the whole time he's been walking on the earth with them. He knows that you and I get anxious from time to time. Sometimes we get even more than that. So Jesus is trying to tell his disciples, look, guys, this isn't it. This isn't the end. There's, there's more here yet to come. And the thing that's to come is I'm leaving you with a gift. And he goes on to say, because I'm giving you the gift, don't be troubled. Don't be afraid. See, when God gives us a gift of peace, that supersedes anything that happens. And things happen. We live in a world where bad things happen. Someone wrote a book about it. Why do bad things happen to good people? I don't know. Because of sin in the world, I guess. It's the only explanation I have. But bad things happen. They happen to me. They happen to you. They happen to our neighbors. But when those things happen, Jesus' gift is right there waiting for you to take it. See, he doesn't say, I'm going to force you to have this peace of mind. God never forces you or I anything. He says, I'm going to give you a gift. And he lays it out. And he says, when you take the gift, then you don't have to be troubled. And he goes on to say here at the end, remember what I told you. I'm going away, but I'll come back again. Jesus knew his disciples were human beings. I mean, that sounds kind of silly, but he knew they struggled with normal, everyday human feelings, human emotions, human experiences. He knew that. And he wasn't going to leave them alone. And he wasn't going to leave them up to their own abilities. You see, sometimes we think we're the only ones that are working on this thing called life. But that's not true. As we end the calendar year and start a new calendar year, we can end a previous way of living and start a new one with the gift that God offers, the gift of peace that comes from walking with him and allowing him to be a part of our lives. I hope as this new year begins, you'll think about this song. Now, starting next week, I'm going to share some little nuggets of things that will carry you through the year. Uh, they're not resolutions. I read recently that 47% of the people who make resolutions don't even keep them to the end of January. So it's not that. It's just little nuggets. So thank you for listening this past year. I hope you have a great coming year. God bless you. If you have a need or a concern, let us know. We'll do whatever we can, as fast as we can, to help meet your needs. Until next week, Happy New Year. I'll talk to you again.